Hello guys and welcome back to Trailmakers. Today I am of course teaching you how to make a simple VTOL which stands for vertical takeoff and landing. So you guys really seem to like my last tutorial so here's another one. So what you want to start with is just grabbing a cockpit, doesn't really matter which one, I'll choose this one because I like the aesthetics. And then you want to head into your mechanic blocks and you want to choose the gyro stabilizer because this is what's going to make VTOL so much easier. And you can just place it wherever really, I'll place it here, just to have it in the center. And you want to go into the settings, You wanna, maybe strength 4 should be fine and then you want to check this box right here and this is really important because if you don't do this your plane won't fly as you expect a fly <laughs> plane to fly you know and uh, you want to tick this so it's off by default and then you want to hit this and make this your VTOL button so if I want to go into VTOL with left shift for example I'll press this here then you want to just build out the body a bit maybe add some aerodynamics what do i know this doesn't really matter you can just make it however you know make it look nice and uh, when you've done that you want to uh, go into your propulsion and you want to choose what engine you're going to use now there are a lot of engines in the game you can use I'd go with a dragon jet, probably just because it has a small footprint, or maybe a large propeller. I think uh, for this project, I'm gonna go with a large propeller. Or two large propellers, I should say. And there are lots of ways you can uh, go about uh, the position of this. And it really depends on how advanced you wanna do it. And I think I'm just gonna go with the propellers at the tip of the wings, probably. So, speaking of wings, I should probably add some before I move into the next section. So, just pick some wings you like, I'll just go with these, probably. Oh, oops. Uh, so, something like this. Then these will go right here like this so uh, what you want to do now is uh, you want to go into your mechanic uh, section and you want to choose these rotating servos and this is important so get these settings correct so on this side uh, you want to on both servos firstly I should say you want to go and put them on 90 degrees speed doesn't really matter depends on how fast you want, want to switch between the modes I think I'll I want to switch this bit is fine probably and I'll remove the inputs and then you gotta check these these arrows right here so like this red arrow is going upwards so I want the VTOL button to be that direction and on this side I want the VTOL uh, button to be on the green one so it and then you wanna attach your propellers to the uh, to the propellers uh, did I say? What did I say? I meant servos to propellers. Uh, and it uh, doesn't really matter how you do it. I'll probably go with something like this. Right here, should be fine. And then, uh, this is kind of a smart thing you can do. If I can actually go with these blocks instead. Uh, if you place your... Uh, your uh, uh, ailerons, or your roll on the tip of these you can have some control even while you're VTOLing which is kinda nice and uh, let's check my forces yeah my thrust is lined up nicely and I can just add a tail so if I do something like this it will probably work now as I said this is very customizable you can do kind of what you want with it doesn't really matter so I'll just add a simple elevator tail right here uh, just make the fuselage look a bit better and then a tail fin and now if I look at my forces they should be good my lift is a bit in front or in, uh, 
behind my center of mass, so I'll just move these forward still a bit. Throw it even more. And now if I spawn in, I, I can conceal these two. Maybe I should do that. Uh, maybe if I move some stuff around. That's the only thing that can be hard if you're making a small plane. Hiding these stabilizers. Now you don't like actually must have them, but I just think it's nice because otherwise it's hard to make uh, it fly stable in VTOL mode. And uh, now this should should be able to have some of these pieces going right here. That should be fine. And then a shield block above. And that should be fine. And now if I check my forces. This looks good. This looks good. This looks good. I can add a bit of a nose cone here. And yeah, I'll spawn this in. And if I check my controls. A, a D, W and S, space. But this is a VTOL. I don't want to just fly like a normal plane. So if I press left shift, I hopefully should be able to lift off. And it's that easy. It really isn't harder than that. And then I can switch back to normal plane mode. And I am just flying like a normal plane. And it works really good. And uh, the benefit of having your ailerons uh, on the wingtips like this is if you uh, shift into VTOL mode, they will act as kind of an air brake, so you won't have to uh, worry about uh, having too much speed going to VTOL mode. So yeah, this just works really nicely, and you can customize it as you want. I'll ju probably just add some automatic landing gear, so th that's also really easy to do. The only thing you gotta do is uh, when I find somewhere you can place a sensor. So maybe right here will be fine. Like this, and then you wanna go into your distance, maybe choose like six meters and have some pistons, or you can have uh, some. Uh, what is it called? some uh, steering hinges as well uh, i'm just going with pistons for this build so you can place them right here like this and then i'll just fill this up then i'll uh, take this and i'll invert the trigger and i'll trigger these two and that means that if this isn't triggering anything uh, it will trigger these and this should be output scale negative so if this uh, isn't triggering or isn't sensing any ground it will uh, make these retract and I should put in this and auto reset and that should be fine right now so if I spawn in yep I got landing gear then if I switch into VTOL mode and I lift off you can see the landing gear just uh, retracts like that. Really simple to do. Not a problem at all. And as you can see, it flies nicely. And uh, I'll just apply air brake with VTOL right here. And that slows me down a lot. And my landing gear folds out. And that's it. So. Uh, like and subscribe if you found this tutorial helpful and maybe comment what I should make a tutorial on next time. Uh, anyways, this has been Wimplar and I'll see you again next time. Peace out.